We want to go to the floor of the House because it has begun the ceremony. This is essentially a ceremony where they are walking the articles of impeachment, two of them, against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. They've gathered outside the House chambers. They're going across. You can see the rotunda of the Senate. They're accompanied by the acting House clerk, a guy named Kevin McCumber. The sergeant at arms always goes with them as well, William McFarland. Um, and you can see that the cameras are capturing that walk. Uh, they are heading over to the uh, Senate chamber doors, and the clerk will announce that the House is informing the Senate that they have passed a resolution appointing and authorizing managers for the impeachment trial for Secretary Mayorkas. Let me bring back in NBC's Ali Vitale, NBC's Julia Angeli, uh, David Jolly, and Robert Gibbs. Uh, Robert Gibbs, I'm actually going to start with you as you're watching this, as someone who's been around politics and the highest levels of politics for a very long time. What do you see as you watch this, something that has not happened against a cabinet secretary in what, something like 200 years? Yeah, there's a couple of different th things. I mean, obviously, this is the picture of Republicans in Congress in particular, and probably President Trump wants a lot of people to see. I can't help but think this is the sort of the end of the real accomplishment of this entire uh, proceeding, because it it's not a matter of, of if uh, Secretary Mayorkas is uh, acquitted. It's just a matter of how quickly it will happen. The second thing is, you know, as we've talked about the subtext of all of this, there aren't high crimes and misdemeanors. They're, they're, this is a policy disagreement with which one house has impeached uh, a member of the cabinet. If you were to play this out in the future, uh, an already slow government process in Congress would come to a virtual standstill because you'd spend most of your time uh, in these types of proceedings uh, and in trying to find people to uh, put their good name up to even be a cabinet secretary. Ali Vitelli, have you heard any concern among Republicans um, other than those who have vocally said they would not vote for this, particularly over on the Senate side, that politically this is a bad move? Look, I think that politically the concerns are less around this as a vehicle for uh, holding accountable the Biden administration on the border, and more the political concern is how this is leveraged on the campaign trail, specifically on immigration. Like, I think the way that you should think about this moment is, as you see them approach the Senate door there, a proxy battle for the war that Republicans have been waging against the Biden administration's border policies for the entirety of the Biden White House and the entire time that he's been in the White White House. So the fact that they are now standing there on the precipice of finalizing the last step of this impeachment push, yes, it gives Republicans something to go back home on the campaign trail and talk about. I also think that Senate Republicans are really going to try to jam vulnerable Senate Democrats who are up for re-election in red states with this issue. But certainly, I don't think that, and I have yet to meet this voter, though maybe I will, I don't think that voters are making their decision based on whether or not Secretary Mayorkas is convicted or even has a trial in this building. That being said, Republicans will try to leverage this as the larger part of their message around immigration and the border. And we know that that is a really palpable and energizing issue out on the campaign trail. I think the thing that I see, and we also see this reflected in polling trends, is that abortion and immigration are sort of these two dueling issues that lead the 2024 charge. Just to put you inside the room now, we're looking at Senator Patty Murray, who is the is the president pro tempore of the Senate. She is about to receive these articles. You see the House members effectively waiting outside the doors here. And it's interesting if you look at this group of impeachment managers who are about to enter the Senate floor, because among them is Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's right in the front row in a red or seemingly pink dress, at least according to the way I'm seeing it on the screen. Um, and she has been the person who has not only been pushing the impeachment of Mayorkas for the entire time that Republicans have had this majority, but she is also now the thorn in the side of the current speaker, Mike Johnson, because of this lingering threat of a motion to vacate. Being an impeachment manager is a privilege. The fact that she has this privilege while she's also threatening the job of the man who gave it to her is really fascinating, palace intrigue for those of us who cover the Capitol, and a moment where 
it's clear that she has cemented power within this conference and can still openly challenge the speaker. It really speaks to where this House Republican conference is at right now. In any other world prior to this conference, we would have been shocked by any of these happenings. Even the fact that a second member this morning came out and said that they would back a motion to vacate against the speaker, that would be shocking in any Congress but this one. Tumult and chaos have really been the name of the game here, but this is a moment where House Republicans are trying to project unity, trying to project the fact that they are standing at, on the floor of the Senate now and coming to the final conclusion of a Mayorkas impeachment that is both rare and also one of the key planks of them having the majority in the first place. Investigations and accountability were always going to be the name of the game for these Republicans, and that is exactly what they're doing here as we watch uh, these articles now be presented on the Senate floor. Let's listen to Congressman Mark Green. <clears throat> Resolved. That Mr. Green of Tennessee, Mr. McCall, Mr. Biggs, Mr. Higgins of Louisiana, Mr. Klein, Mr. Guest, Mr. Garbarino, Ms. Green of Georgia, Mr. Pfluger, Ms. Hageman, and Ms. Lee of Florida are appointed managers to conduct the impeachment trial against Alejandro Nicholas Mayorkas, Secretary of Homeland Security, that a message be sent to the Senate to inform the Senate of these appointments, and that the managers so appointed may in connection with the preparation and the conduct of the trial, exhibit the articles of impeachment to the Senate and take all necessary actions, which may include the following. One, employing legal, clerical, and other necessary assistance and incurring such other expenses as may be necessary to be paid from amounts available to the Committee on Homeland Security under applicable expense resolutions or for the applicable amounts of the House of Representatives. Two, sending for persons and papers and filing with the Secretary of the Senate on the part of the House of Representatives any pleadings in conjunction with or subsequent to the exhibition of the articles of impeachment that the managers consider necessary. With the permission of the Senate, I will now read the articles of impeachment, House Resolution 863. Resolved that Alejandro Nicholas Mayorkas Secretary of Homeland Security of the United States of America is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors, and that the following articles of impeachment be exhibited to the United States Senate. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.